the plug in education is for so that is the case. So therefore, they are getting some of the vocational education that's coming later on. Another objective was, of course, that that they added later on is that we also produce a good human being. When the student come out of the college, we create a good human being. So we plan about value education. I'm not going to go into that. So these are some of the goals of the higher education. So I discuss with you one of the goals is that the inequality or equality in higher education attainment, because if the goal is to have equal access to all poor or rich or middle income group, then everybody should have access. The reason why we talk of equal access to everybody is that the education is something like the basic need, like the food and clothes and housing. And everybody should have an access to two or one, depending on the capacity. Somebody should not be allowed uh, to deny the access to education because of poverty. Somebody should not be allowed to deny access to education because of caste or culture or because you are from a particular religion or you are a woman. Uh, the education should be given to individual in this situation, social energy. And therefore, that, that, that is very big event in 1986, education policy, right from the beginning of the time. But unfortunately, Indian society, if you look at the Indian society, it is characterized by an unequal opportunity. In the past, in the ancient times, the world is part of the society. And education was confined to the high class. Grandly. Education was also the Satya Vaishya. But they will not be allowed to use education as a business. You educate, but your business is Satya, is Vishya, is business. You can use this education in your occupation, but you are not allowed to be a teacher or a teacher. Teaching and teaching of what's going to find so that. The Sudra, the low caste, and the other person, the lady can't have access to education. This is the moment we can't have access to education. So, it is a cancer section of our society. Half of Women constitute half of our population. The women and the, the so called untouchable tyrants, they uh, did not have an association. So that is how we began. So we, when we come to the recent period, because I don't want to go into the history, but when we come to the British period, we is the education uh, target for the common market period. So the British came uh, here. 1754 is clear from 38 and 1875. 1857. So, the British took over the Indian administration, East India Company, taken out and they controlled the in control in 1857. Now, when the education is under the initial the American tradition, the education rights was denied to the to the children to learn the children to the women. Mm -hmm. uh, when was the education open to this class in the Bible? The British uh, some signed the education only, only to the women to produce new vocabulary, select others. It is only in 1830, 1830 that we denied the education of the class. It is decided to offer open up the education for the education. And they did that. But the way the British society is extremely class conscious, they say that no, education will be confined to the landlord, the business person, the lay parents, and the writer. They just will make legislation, government order, the education is confined to the section. Education is not only open to the poor, we also have to say that it is not open to the parents. The answer is the So from 1854, I the education began, the education was in It is only 1854. 1854 55, that the British government took off an order, official order, that no, we now open up the education for four and three. So for the poorer sector, the education classes, and for the women, Egyptian began, began in 1854 55. That is the beginning of education, open education, maybe 
it equal the possibility to all. But this is a law that actually was defined. There was a difference between the domain and the actor. In that case, the situation is applicable, the moment did not happen. Because the public school, which is when it's British as Sakhi, they will be dominated by the high class people. Because they were the educated. They were the owners, they were the teachers, and they refused to provide education to the untouchable, to admit the untouchable students, or the women in the school of government, which are supported by the government. So they faced problems. So that problem continued in several times. But how did the British manage it? I'll give you one example that yes, we need to understand from the the essential. 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 The 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 school say we don't recognize the British. Then his father wrote an application to the head of the Bombay Presidency. That this is the rule, but we are denied. They will bring to all kinds of journalists and then they come with a decision, different decisions. 